so hello everyone welcome to lorenzo data solutions my name is uh, anipya abraham sap success factors consultant and corporate trainer so before i continue to say anything in this uh, short video i want to say one thing this is my own view or opinion and doesn't represent anyone so in this uh, a short video I want to explain something about the latest releases for Employee Central for H2 2023. So I have already posted a blog on my website. I just want to give uh, some explanation on these functionalities I posted. And I'm sure those who are going through this short video may help you understanding some of the functionalities. So you know the release schedule for 2023. The preview is already done 10th October 2023. The preview release is going to be done from 17th, sorry, production release from November 17th, 2023. So the first uh, uh, the update I want to explain is about uh, add to transport bundle in employee central so this is related to the uh, configuration center you know uh, it was introduced uh, two years back it works very similar to your instant synchronization and you know that the future is going to be the configuration center and everyone should be aware about this functionality so this release about the configuration center now sap added manage business configurations and the foundation objects to a bundle to transport them using the configuration center from one instance to another instance maybe quality to development or development to production or t1 or t3 or uat or production anything so here the feature there are two areas SAP added the transport bundle with regard to the configuration center. The first one is a managed business configuration. The second one is a foundation objects. So, so uh, manage business configuration, you will find on the make a correction area, add a transport bundle when you click on the take action drop down. And even in the manage business config, sorry, manage organization pay on job structures, where you actually configure the foundation objects you also see the functionality now available add a transport bundle using this one so you can transport data of a legacy objects or a foundation objects using the configuration center the same with the manage business configuration so if you want to use this functionality so you can see the first uh, the permissions required to enable uh, in the RBP and you will find uh, transport legacy foundation data and uh, with regarding the configuration center then you also need to enable access to transport uh, configurations okay so when you go to the ma uh, manage business configuration when you click on the take action drop down you see there is a button called add transport when it comes to the foundation object so you must do it through manage organization pn job structure for example here we have taken a location when you click on the take action drop down you see that add a transport bundle so this is one of the latest enhancement from h2 2023 for a legacy foundation objects and uh, manage business configuration you see it as a latest enhancement so these are the some of the technical details and i request you to go through it if you are interested so this is a major functionality from uh, h2 2023 now let us try to understand the another functionality that is employee central quick actions for employees and manager self services. So, from this release onwards, you know, 
for manager self services employee self services you know for example one uh, example i'll tell you you can create a templates actually for example the templates allows you to combine the relevant fields from your multiple data models for example you can create up to five templates each quick action allows you to define five standard and custom like you know country region specific fields for example here are the some of the fields like a uh, the chooser name, end date, cost center, job name, legal entity name. So once you set up these templates and uh, set up the corresponding permissions enabled, and it helps you to manage the data through a quick actions. Through a quick actions. So what happens now? The template simplifies the managers and employee self services providing a guidelines you know that you know they are uh, how it has to be configured like uh, for example this also ensures the fields visibility like whether it's a required field a mandatory field or optional field you can manage like a templates directly from the quick actions from the home page this is also another uh, very interesting functionality and here you can see the employee central quick action template and where it helps you to group the uh, different data model different fields and you can actually access and experience from the quick actions and you can see the home page and you can manage those functionalities like uh, which you are going to do regularly this is another uh, important update that I wanted to explain and that same I posted on my personal website and you are able to see it and a few of the technical details uh, you can go through it next let us try to understand the another enhancement with regard to the managed business configuration so now SAP introduced uh, a new validations or enhancements in order to improve the consistency of a managed business configuration here are the some of the details i have provided for example duplicate combination entries in hr async mapping so now what sap has done sap has provided a validation message to notify that you cannot have a duplicate company combinations when you are going to do the HRA sync mapping. So earlier it was not possible for you to see that kind of error message. Even in the managed business configurations, when it comes to the required field, you know, mandatory fields and employee profile, uh, let us say uh, SAP added again, this is also validation message to tell you that the field particular one is a mandatory field under manage business configuration so this system is going to give a notification so this helps you to provide a consistency quality of every single configuration you are going to do in a managed business configuration so this is another you know a good functionality you are going to experience next uh, with regarding the enhancements in imports so we have a lot of imports uh, we do in employee central system so with regarding the uh, general enhancement to improve the import process in employee central the first one is a scheduled job manager so now you can uh, uh, schedule job manager directly uh, you know the new tab on import employee data so previously it was loaded on the same tab but it will be opening as a, a new uh, a tab you know it will open as a new tab so that you don't miss the previous functionality you still stay there and on a new tab you are able to see the scheduled job manager that's one of the improvement actually you can see this is existing one but this is an improvement we can say enhancement next uh, uh, enable compound uh, you know a uh, deletion previously the enable compound delete setting was only available in a provisioning but now 
you can manage directly from uh, manage employee central settings page and like you can enable and you can manage this one fun particular functionality this feature is used for what to remove the employee data imported into the system with a multiple entities like a job relationship uh, pay component non-recurring address information email information and etc next with regarding the employee central business rules enhancement so sap you know made a few changes with regarding the uh, business rules in some areas the one is a cross entity rule so this is very important rule actually so now you can uh, how update uh, the specific require uh, records uh, let us say a recurring pay component job relationship you all know that the cross entity will not support every hras element it only supports certain elements like job information recurring pay component compensation and etc so if the target entity is not a part of the payload the random record might be considered like you know it was being missed something so you are able to update uh, you know the target entities for based on the the source entity you are selecting okay previously using the model based rules you know the target entity results uh, like in errors as a random record was updated even when these records entities are part of the functionality in the same way metadata properties for event reason derivation rules so when we create a business rules for event reason derivation rule scenario for a job information model compensation information model so you know you are you always have to use the you know changes to the metadata properties but now you can set up event reason to value or you can't set up the properties like required visibility in then statement now you can set the, the value required visibility in then statements that's one of the enhancement you can see in the latest uh, enhancement now with regarding the workflow auto delegation by groups but actually this is a very interesting feature actually auto delegation was available for individual employees but now you can delegate the workflow auto delegation for a groups so if you don't want to delegate them to one person you can delegate you can take the advantage of this uh, as an enhancement to define uh, uh, like your dynamic groups like a manage workflow groups in the manage data uh, like uh, uh, you know building similar like a workflow request groups we have no? very similar to that so you can uh, set up like auto delegation like uh, through a group like a, uh, from home page quick actions so that here is a two options here delegate to one person delegate to workflow groups means a dynamic groups so how the dynamic groups are created based on the job information personal information fields and you can see the groups can be like specified uh, you know how many groups you can set up you can add up to three delegations you can see that's uh, one of the enhancement you can see in the latest version with regarding the auto delegation not only supports individual users but it also supports now group of users that can be configured through a workflow groups actually so these are the few enhancements that i wanted to explain and i'm sure these enhancements once you know one who is going through i'm sure it helps you and useful for your understanding about certain functionalities uh, from the latest h2 2023 release in the next release in the next video i'm going to explain about uh, releases related to the time management and the benefits time tracking also going to come up very soon and thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next video bye everyone